welcome everyone. Welcome back to the Magical Arts. I'm going to do a very quick astrology reading for you talking about the new moon coming up in Taurus on May 7th. So I'm going to try to do this at least twice a month with the new moon and full moon, but if I can do it once a week and just cover all of the most important astrological alignments, that's what I'll do. So this is going to be most likely happening on Tuesdays, and that's what today is, Tuesday. So I'm calling this Tuesday Tarot Astrology. Okay, let's go look at the chart. So this is the new moon in Taurus happening on May 7th, and it's happening in the evening for North America and South America. So if you're in another part of the world, please adjust for your time zone. Also adjust across the time zones from Pacific to Eastern. But for mountain time, it's 9.22 p.m. So you can pretty much just assume that it's going to be in the evening of May 7th. Now, this one is absolutely gorgeous. It's probably the best new moon of the year. We have the new moon in Taurus here at 18 degrees, and it's conjunct both Uranus and Jupiter. Now, if it was only conjunct Uranus, then we might think, oh, I don't know about this. You know, Uranus can be a little bit tricky and unpredictable, bringing shocks and surprises and disruptions. Sometimes things we're not really too happy about. But the wonderful thing about this particular new moon chart is that that new moon conjunct Uranus is sandwiched between the two most benefic planets, Jupiter, known as the Great Benefic, and Venus, known as the Lesser Benefic. So it's like a benefic sandwich. <laughs> and the sun is also considered a benefic. So we have all three benefics in Taurus. And that makes this new moon really fabulous. Plus, Venus is in her own sign. So she's got like magnified energy. And the fact that all the planets are direct means we don't have to worry about any of those interplanet retrogrades. So let's go around and just look at everything in this chart, okay? We've got Pluto in Aquarius. And, oh, it is going retrograde by now. Okay. So I'm making this a little bit early. I'm making it on April 30th. So we've got about a week until this new moon. So it looks like Pluto will go retrograde during that week, which is not really a problem. The outer planets stationing direct or retrograde is not really a problem. They're transformational planets, so you don't see the effects as intensely. They're working below the surface at a more subconscious soul level to bring about long-term transformation. Occasionally, you will see event-oriented events when these are either, you know, making some really intense transit to your personal planets or in the chart, but it's not really doing that right now, at least not in this chart. So maybe it's making a personal transit for you. There, it's also possible that you're having squares with this new moon in Taurus. So you have to consider your own personal chart. By the way, if you ever want a reading, you can always check the link below in the description box and order reading and use my automatic scheduler or email me either way is fine and or you can join my patreon i do free friday astrology workshops there where you can get many readings so that might uh, help you out if you're trying to figure out if this is making some kind of exact alignment in your chart that might make it more difficult but in general this chart is really really good it's also sextiling saturn which is wonderful because Saturn brings stability when it is in a trine or a sextile. It's harmonious and it takes that energy of the new moon and grounds it in something that's more long-term and foundational and you can expect it to last. So that's really good. Now, Jupiter is also going to make a sextile to Neptune. So when Venus catches up with Jupiter and makes an exact conjunction at 29 degrees of Taurus. They will be in a sextile to Neptune and Pisces at 29 degrees. And whenever you see Jupiter 
Venus and Neptune in an aspect, especially when it's a favorable aspect like conjunction or sextile or trine, that's one of the best days of the year. Okay, so you want to keep that in mind. And I'll talk about that as we get closer to it. All right, there's a couple more things I want to mention, which is that Mercury, the North Node, and Mars are all in Aries. Mars rules Aries. So all three of the inner planets, which are Mars, Mercury, and Venus, are direct. That means life is flowing. We can move forward. We can expect things to work well. And the karma from the eclipses is still getting activated, which sh should be a good thing for you, you know, if you're moving in the direction of your evolution, which is what the North Node is about. So having Mars there in its own sign means that you will really be able to take action in that area of your life. Okay, let me pull a couple of cards here. I'm going to pull a tarot card from this deck called Bosch Tarot. And I pulled the Knight of Wands. Okay, that is totally a Mars in Aries kind of energy because the, the wands are a fire sign. Mars is fire. This is a knight. He's ready to, to just race forward on his red horse over the land. He's inspired. He's motivated. He's ready to go and make things happen. So I would say that's let's do that with this new moon. Let's make the best of this new moon energy. Set our intentions, initiate something. I think it'll really turn out wonderfully for you. All right, then I'm also going to pull a card from this Oracle deck. It's called the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards. And the one I just pulled is Mawu. And she represents Mother Earth. And this card says, you are called upon to help with environmentalism. I think that's perfect with the new moon in Taurus because Taurus is very earthy. It's all about the material world and how the earth brings us abundance. This chart and this new moon are all about earthy abundance. But that means taking care of it, not, you know, abusing it or exploiting it. You have to care for what supports us, what provides for us, Mother Earth. Well, I think this is a perfect time to go for a nature walk. That's why I've got my sun hat on because I'm gonna go for a nature walk now. And I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave your comments below, like, share and comment. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.